Hi, Wee Project people. I am here today to teach you guys how to make your very own almond butter. So we saw the other night in the grocery tour how expensive almond butter is. And so I wanted to show you how quick and easy and inexpensive it is to make your very own. So I've got my ingredients here prepared ahead of time. So all you need to make your very own almond butter is two cups of raw almonds. Alternatively, you can roast them, but I prefer to use raw. Um, we need some Celtic sea salt or Himalayan sea salt and some coconut oil. So for the measurements, we need two cups of almonds, one teaspoon of sea salt, and a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. And I've gone ahead and melted the coconut oil so it's in a liquid form, which makes it easier to use. And what I did is I just put it into a bowl with hot water and let it sit in there until it was nice and cool. And I also went ahead and I ground my almonds ahead of time. So all I did was put my raw almonds into the Vitamix and I blended them for about a minute, maybe 45 seconds, and it came out with this nice, uh, fine almond flour. So we're gonna get started and do the rest and you're gonna learn just how easy it is to make your very own almond butter. And today I had my helper Dane with me to Hello. help me in this process. Hello. There's Dane. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start by putting my fine almond meal back into the blender. So I wanna get all of it in there. So Dane is going to slowly pour in the coconut oil as we start blending this and you'll start really seeing it form together. And once the coconut oil is in, then he is going to add in the Celtic sea salt. Let's get started. Ready? Okay. to peanut butter because peanut butter ha has sh sugar in it and this does not. So that is it for today. So go get some almonds and some coconut oil and some sea salt. Make your own almond butter and save yourself time and stay healthy. See you guys next time. Woo!